I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sew Anastasia, and today we're gonna make a string bikini top because it is beach season. String bikinis are so easy to make, and this is why I want to share it with you. I know a lot of times I have a bottom that I love, but I don't love the way the top fits, and I just wish I had a string bikini to go with it. Well, I'm going to show you how to make one, and you can make one that matches all of your different bottoms. How cool, right? So follow along, and I'm going to show you how to make a string bikini top. You might be wondering, well, what if I want a string bikini bottom to go with my string bikini top? What do I do? Well, I have another video that I put out a few weeks ago, and it's a string bikini panty. But it's literally the exact same pattern and the same method. You're just going to need to use different fabric and make sure you put an additional lining in it. But exact same method and exact same pattern, which you can also download from my website, Sewy Anastasia. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewy Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing and following me on my sewing adventures. Also, I'm now teaching sewing classes in person and online, and you can sign up for those at SewingAnastasia.com. Supplies for this project are super simple. You're going to need your rotary cutter. You're probably gonna need some scissors to cut all those threads. You're going to need a quilting ruler or some sort of ruler, so that way we can measure our ties. You're also going to need some matching thread. You're going to need some fabric for your bathing suit as well. I'm going to be using this magnificent neon yellow. And you're also going to need a pattern. So I drafted a bikini top pattern, and it's going to be in different sizes, extra small through extra, extra large, and you can download this from my website at sewanastasia.com under digital downloads. Now when you're choosing your side, make sure you're measuring the pattern's length and the pattern's width, and also measure yourself for the length and the width of how big or how small you would like it. I know some people like wearing a really small triangle that doesn't cover much, and some people like wearing a much larger triangle that covers everything. So choose your style and make sure you pick out your size appropriately. The first thing you need to do is cut out your pattern, and it's going to look something like this. You only need one sewing pattern for this project. So cool, right? The pattern piece is going to be a cut to self and cut to lining. I'm going to be doing a cut for self because I'm using the exact same fabric for the lining. So let's place this on the fabric and cut four out. I have four layers of fabric, so I'm gonna cut out all my pieces at the same time. Make sure you're following your grain lines for the stretch of your fabric. Weight it really good, and let's cut it out with the rotary cutter. Okay, and now we have four pieces. Next, we're gonna cut out our neckties, and they're going to be one inch wide and 18 inches long, and this includes the seam allowance. So I like to use my quilting ruler and my rotary cutter when I do this, so I can make it super precise. I've lined up my fabric with a line on the grid of my cutting mat, and I've straightened that out. I have two layers of fabric here, so that way when I cut a one inch strip, I can get a really long strip and then cut it down to size. So I'm gonna use my gridded ruler and my rotary blade and make a one inch strip. Now I'm gonna do this two times for the straps. I'm also gonna cut one more really long rectangle, one inch by 40 inches long, and this is gonna be for the tie under the boss that ties at your center back. Now that we have all of our pieces cut out, we are ready to start sewing our top together. Now grab your matching thread and let's set up the sewing machine and make sure you have it set to a lightning bolt stitch or a very small zigzag stitch. That's right, we are using a regular sewing machine for this project. We are not going to be using a serger even though it's a stretch fabric. You just have to make sure that you're using that lightning bolt stitch or a really small zigzag so that way your fabric still stretches and it won't pop when you're wearing it. I have the sewing machine all set up and I'm gonna be using that lightning bolt stitch I was talking about. And now what we're gonna do is sew up the tubes. There are three tubes. In order to sew them up, you're gonna fold them right sides together and we're gonna sew up a seam 3 eighths of an inch wide all the way down the sides. And we're gonna do this three times. 
Don't forget to back stitch and let's sew this tube together. If it's sticking when you first start sewing, it's not moving forward for you, go ahead and pull your top thread and this will help move your fabric through the machine. When you get to the end, back stitch and cut. one tie completely finished and check it out when we stretch it there is no popping because we've used that lightning bolt stitch which is just a variation of a zigzag stitch now go ahead and do the exact same thing to your other two straps now we're going to turn our tubes right side out so grab a safety pin that fits in the size of your tube and we're going to push it all the way through to the other end and pull our tube right side out we are going to pin from the bottom up Make sure you're just pinning through one side of the tube from the bottom up. Make sure you're not pinning through both sides. Go ahead and close it, and then take the head of the pin and put it into the tube. And now what you wanna do is push the safety pin along and pull the fabric off the end of it. Sometimes starting it can be a little tricky. So push and then pull. Push the safety pin through and pull the extra fabric off. Keep pulling and you're finished. It should look something like that. Now go ahead and do the exact same thing to your other tubes. Now that we have all of our tubes turned, it's time to grab the top of your bathing suit so that way we can put the strap in the very top of the bathing suit while we're sewing it together. I've pinned my strap at the very tip of the triangle and I have sandwiched it in between the two layers and the layers are facing right side together. I also put the seam of the tube towards the outside. So we're going to sew right sides together and sew all the way around the lining and the self fabric, but we need to leave an opening. I'm gonna leave an opening at the bottom of the cup so that way it's real easy to turn right side out and we won't end up seeing it later. I'm gonna start with the pin at the opening of the bottom of the cup and don't forget to back stitch. I'm gonna stop at my other pin and back stitch and cut. Now what we wanna do is flip it right side out. So we're gonna take the string and pull it and it'll pull out your entire bathing suit. So that way it's right side out. Look at how nice that strap looks at the very tip of the triangle. And for the other tips, you can just stick your finger into the bathing suit and push those out. We are looking so good. Go on. The opening that we have left here, we are just gonna fold the seam together and then just go ahead and do a little edge stitch so that way that stays shut. Don't forget to back stitch and let's stitch this opening shut. Back stitch and cut. have the hole closed up on the triangle we have one last step and that's going to be flipping up the bottom and creating a casing so that way we can get the string for the bottom of the bikini through it now we're gonna fold the bottom up a half inch to five eighths and pin it so that way we can create a casing and then we're just gonna do a little edge stitch that way we can fish our bottom string through it this fabric's a little tricky to work with, so I totally suggest pinning up this casing that we're creating. Don't worry about it not laying perfectly flat because there's a curve and we're folding it up. So we can work that out when we're sewing it by pulling it flat. So let's go ahead and sew the casing up. Let's start at the end and make sure you back stitch. And if you have a problem getting your fabric to feed through, remember you can pull your top thread. and cut. Your casing should look something like this on the inside and don't worry about it not laying flat because we're gonna end up gathering this up with the string and then it should look like this on the outside. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other cup. 
you should now have both of the little boobies done. So now what we gotta do is really turn it into that string bikini. So you want to grab that other tie that you have that's real long, and then you also wanna grab a big safety pin. And we are gonna pin that into the end, and we are gonna fish it through the two bust cups. So you wanna go ahead and put your safety pin on the end of your long string, and then we're going to stick it into that casing we created and push it all the way through. So just keep pushing and pulling until it's on the string. Okay, so now we have it on one. Now what we wanna do is go to the next one and do the same thing. Okay, we officially have a string bikini. One last finishing technique that I like to do to the ends of my ties is just tie them in a knot. I think it gives the end of the string a nice cute little finish. You could also put some beads on here. You could zigzag them over. You could put a little end cap on them of some sort. There's a few different ways you could finish, but I'm just going to tie mine in knots. We did it! We finished the string bikini top. It is looking great. I'm ready to go swimming. I don't know about you, but I am. So notice how we have the nice finished edges because we have the self-lined fabric here where the seam is, you can see that. So there's no lining popping out. That's a benefit to using the same fabric as the lining. We have our gather under the bus. We have our neckties. We turn it around and we have the under bus tie on the back here. So your back's nice and open and we have our front covered and we are ready to go swimming. Thanks so much for watching Sewy Anastasia today. If you have any questions on making the string bikini top, let me know and leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. As always, make sure you follow Sewy Anastasia and make sure you hit the notification button so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching my videos and following along on my sewing adventures. And I would love to see your projects. So make sure you tag me in them at Zoe Anastasia so that way I can repost them and share them with everyone else. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and TikTok so that way we can stay connected and inspired. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.